In 1967, the Freedom House Ambulance Service was founded in Pittsburgh's Hill District. It became the nation's first community-based medical service with training beyond basic first aid. Yeah, and it was staffed entirely by African Americans. So the city of Pittsburgh is celebrating these pioneers with a month-long display of photos and memorabilia. Selena Pompiani Matheson joins us live from the city county building downtown where you can check out this special display and what a piece of yeah. history, Selena. Oh, isn't that right, David and Heather? And isn't it hard to believe without Freedom House Ambulance Service, there would be no EMS today? I mean, that's wild just to think about. We have a really special guest we want to introduce you to today. This is John Moon. He is one of the original paramedics with Freedom House. John, so much to talk about with you. I first want to go over how Freedom House got started back in 1967 by Dr. Peter Saffer and Phil Hallen. Uh, actually, Freedom House itself was a private, nonprofit organization running out of the Hill District and was primarily concerned about voter registration, job training, and things of that nature. Uh, during that time, there was a mini food bank uh, inside of Freedom House, and they delivered food to the residents of the Hill District. Phil Hallen uh, was the visionary. He came up with this idea that said, if this organization can deliver food to the residents, why can't they deliver medical care? Uh, at that time, we had to rely primarily on the police uh, for transport to the emergency room. So if you can imagine a police wagon pulling up to your residence, uh, two officers getting out, placing you in the back, and both of them getting up front and driving you to the emergency room. So It's hard to believe that. I mean, even just to picture that, what was the training like for you back then to get trained in order to transport somebody with this care to get them to the hospital safely and on time? Uh, the training is probably, undoubtedly, one of the most intensive training uh, exercises that had ever been done in this country. Uh, so you can imagine uh, 25 African-American men being placed into a program for this intensive training, which uh, consisted of time in the emergency room, in the intensive care unit, uh, in the operating room, uh, even the morgue to study anatomy and physiology. Uh, in addition to that, they had to basically go through trauma systems and, and uh, EKG interpretation, uh, IV insertion, so there had never been anything done like this in this country at all, and these were the individuals responsible for it. And of course, we mentioned you were one of the original paramedics, but it's also a very cool connection to today because when you were the assistant chief of EMS, you hired our current chief, Amara Gilchrist. So th that's a really cool connection there. Yes, you're absolutely correct. That's the crowning moment of my career at Pittsburgh EMS. Uh, chief Gilchrist, uh, before she was chief, walked into my office and said she was looking for a a job to work for the city of Pittsburgh, and no one had ever done that before. So uh, once I hired her, I kind of mentored her uh, career all the way up to the point where she became chief of the department. And once she started rising through the ranks, uh, my heart started to smile. So right now, she's my crowning moment within Pittsburgh EMS. I love that. And John speaks all over the country about Freedom House. He was just in Dallas. He was the keynote speaker. He said for 2,000 people, I cannot imagine that. I would be so nervous. <laughs> I also want to quickly get to Brandon D. Alamonte, program coordinator with the City of Pittsburgh Office of Special Events. This is such a fabulous display, Brandon. How long will it be here for people to visit or check it out online, too? Yes, yeah, so you can come down in person to the city county building all throughout the month of February, which is 29 days this year. Um, and then you can also see it at PGH Events Office, which is our social media. We're on Facebook, we're on Twitter, X, and uh, Instagram. And of course, you can see it on the uh, pittsburghpa.gov forward slash events website. Yeah, that's awesome, Brandon. So if you can't make it down here to the city county building in downtown Pittsburgh, like Brandon said, you could go right to their website. And check this out, David and Heather. The brand new uniforms here, they are looking beautiful. There's also a wonderful training program. So if you want more info, go to pittsburghjobs.net. The Freedom House EMT Training Academy will have a 12-week program. So if you're interested in that, make sure to head to their website. They have all the details for you there. But we'll send it back over to the PTL studios. It really is a beautiful display. So much history here. It's incredible. Oh, I want some we merch. Love it, do they have merch? You want, you want a shirt. I do. Yeah, I want some cool merch.
We love it, Selena, really. I mean, you can't imagine not having right. EMS. And it all started with these men and women who made up Freedom House Ambulance Service really. right here in Pittsburgh in the Hill. It's really awesome. If you're unable to make it to see the display in person at the City County Building, you can also view the content online through February 29th. And the Freedom House Ambulance Service is one of the topics at another event. In fact, it's happening today. In fact, it's happening right now. This is also in celebration of Black History Month. It's the sixth annual high school student summit and essay contest at Soldiers and Sailors Memorial Hall. 18 high schools are part of this with more than 600 students registered.